As of today, Edo na the only state where they pay workers 40,000 naira as minimum wage for Ninja. Philip Shaibu na in talk this one. Deputy Governor for Edo State, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, don't talk say the present administration under Governor Baseki they interested in building cap human capacity and providing conducive work environment, tools and equipment for their workers. He talked this one for the public lecture with the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria, CIPM, do on Tuesday. Anthony Okungbowa will be the head of service for Edo State, where can still represent Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, can talk say the present administration don't do well for the civil service. Say Edo State na the only state for Nigeria where them they pay their workers 40,000 naira, and also na them be the first to onboard all ministries, departments and agencies on the e-governance platform. He talks say the government they interested in the lives and properties of the people for Edo State to make Edo great again. He can congratulate members of the association for the event. The theme of this public lecture, Leveraging Human Capital for Sustainable Development and Growth, is quite apt and in sync with the vision of this present administration that a motivated workforce has the capacity to contribute its quota to sustainable growth and development of society and the country at large. It is instructive to underscore the fact that for a professional body like yours to be relevant in the dynamic environment of the Nigerian society, public lectures of this kind are expedient for members and relevant stakeholders to brainstorm on issues of national interest and profile solutions where necessary on the way forward. As a government, the present administration under the dynamic leadership of Governor Godwin Obaseki accords top priority to building human capital or capacity, as well as providing a conducive work environment and necessary tools and equipment for its workforce and personnel. As we speak, the present administration has made giant strides and recorded monumental achievements in its transformation agenda in the civil and public service as part of deliberate efforts at motivating its personnel for the actualization of making Edo Great Again agenda. Edo State is the only state among the 36 states in Nigeria that pays its workers 40,000 Naira minimum wage. There's been no other state government following suit after that first of May pronouncement by Mr. Governor. There has been prompt payment of salaries and pensions latest on the 26th of every month. Regular training and retraining of workers for optimal performance. Of course, that's because government believes, this government believes that it is what you give to a worker that he works with. So garbage in, garbage out. If you give the best to your workers, they will give you the best. Building of infrastructure that provides conducive work environment, as well as necessary tools and equipment for his workforce and personnel. There's also been the introduction and implementation of e-governance in the conduct of government business. And what I forgot to say is that we are the first state in the Federation to have achieved the complete onboarding of all its ministries and departments and agencies on the e-governance platform. Let me reiterate the commitment of our government towards the welfare, security of lives, and property of our citizens in order to make Edo great again. At this junction, let me congratulate the President and Chairman of the Governing Council and members of this great organization for this great event. Olusegun Mojid will be the president and chairman for the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria, CIPM, can talk say the importance of the event where them do now to grow people from different agencies and now why them they bring Ogbonge speakers to do talk talk and share ideas so that participants fit go back to their agencies and implement all that they don't them. The essence of this program, number one, the program is a do state branch of CIPM public lecture. The CIPM is the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria. The, this is at the state level. This is the flagship program for the institute at the state level. Either you do the public lecture or you do a state conference. And the essence is to grow our people. We come together to share ideas, 
to share knowledge. We come together to invite erudite speakers, people with experience from both the private and the public sector to do justice to a particular topic, to a relevant topic, to a contemporary topic for that particular uh, program. And on this particular one, we're looking at leveraging the human capacity you know, for development and for growth, whether at the private level or the public level, or whether at the organizational level or at the level of the nation. So that is why you could see the, 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 the category of speakers that we are having here uh, this afternoon. So that is the essence. And what message do I have? Is that participants should please learn, should please write, and then should please go back to their respective organizations and apply their learning. Human capital development for economic growth. I simply told my audience what we are doing as, the, as, you know, as a state government to ensure that we develop our human capital. Uh, infrastructural development, you know, all the things that we're doing. You know, in Edo State, in other states, you know, a lot is happening. And in Edo State, the opposite is actually happening. For instance, in the area of uh, recruitment, why some states in the Federation right now are actually retrenching workers, but in Edo State, we're employing more. You know, so uh, like they say in the Bible, some people will say there's a casting down, but we will say there's a lifting up. So a lot of what I told them had to do with what we are doing as a state government to ensure that we up the ante, you know, we raise the stakes with respect to developing our human capital, which I call intellectual property resource development. The idea behind um, uh, the public lecture for 2022, leveraging on human capital, we had actually thought in our faculty that if Nigeria is so blessed with natural and material resources over time and today, natural and material resources seem to be failing us and we have a vast majority of population of over 200 million in Nigeria. In those states, well over 5 million population and yet we are crying for hunger. We are suffering and jackalization which has become a concept. You see people wanting to fly out of Nigeria, leaving Edo State to go for white collar jobs. Then the question arises, in time where the Israelites were in Israel and they were engaged in famine, they were hungry, they moved to Egypt. Did that actually solve their problem? Did they mean that the land, the native land, Israel, just went dead? We see here of the good things that the Israel is doing. So I think that if the human resources, it is actually engaged, they are enhanced, and we put them to use, and they are knowledgeable, they are skillful, because it is not enough for you to have the number of persons that you call manpower. It is enough for you to train them, sharpen them, because it's only when iron sharpens iron, that's when it becomes effective and efficient. So in getting effective use for our human capital, we must train retrain and continue to train them. Every organization has to understand that every employee that comes into that system must be totally engaged. Engagement is very key. Engagement in a way that the job that you are being given, you are able to implement and execute it at the right time. Because when she talk about engagement and satisfaction, because the thing is all about engagement, it's just about making sure that they are all part of it. The end of the day, the end of the day, we are looking at how we can make the employee more happier in what he is doing than just being given elaborate money at the end of the day they are not performing, they are performing those jobs but if you engage them they are happy about what they do they, they are giving free roles to carry out their, their activities and duty with less supervision I can bet you at the end of the day those employees will be happier doing those jobs and at the end of the day deliver at the, at the utmost of their best. Oluwa Tobi Odeshola, TMC TV News. Make you now remember, say your PVC na your power, no go sell your vote for any politician or party.